hello everyone out there and welcome to magic autocad in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to do plan drawing in feet and inches this tutorial is mostly for beginners in autocad and for those who don't know how to use feet and inches in drawing and for those who want to enhance their knowledge in autocad so let's get started the first thing we are required to do here is to type in u n then the unit will pop up let's adjust the unit you press enter key then this drawing units will pop up then let's go to the land type you drop down the land type and let's select sorry let's select architecture okay then we we'll go to precision let's select one quarter okay then let's go to the insertion scale at the insertion scale let's select inches okay we select inches and we click okay then the second thing we're going to do here is let's go to the layer to adjust we drop down the layers we go to new layers then the first thing we're gonna adjust here is dimension okay let's just type in dim for dimension then we go to select the color what color can we select for our dimensions let's go for yellow okay then we go to new layer again let's type in hatches okay hatches here is gonna be wall hatches then let's select the color for the hatching let's select green okay green okay then we'll go to new layer again let's type in doors and windows let's just take d w then let's select colors of doors and window let's go for this sky blue then new layer let's take in installation in star okay to install our furniture and so on what color should we select let's select this purple then we'll go again to new layers we take text okay text what's gonna be the color for our text okay we can take in we can take correct for the text okay okay <clears throat> then you come up here and you close the drawing we're about to do measures 58 feet 10 and 3 quarter inches by 33 feet so let's go to the line command click on the line specify the first point let's type in 58 feet enter then 4 point seven five because three quarter three quarter inch is four point seven sorry eight point seven five okay point seven five inches enter again it clicked on that point then let's type in thirty two thirty two Fit, enter, then six inches. Sorry, inches. Enter again. So, clicks up here. So, let's find this intersection point with this line. Okay, 
so this way we have our intersection we click there and we click on this point so before we continue please i would like to show you how to type in feet and inches in your computer let's go to the keyboard suppose this is your laptop keyboard or because uh, you know the desktop keyboard is a little bit different from the laptop keyboard so you know keyboards are different so let's come here let's consider this keyboard to be our keyboard so come here we have this button that has the inverted comma and the apostrophe then you have the enter key and you have the shift key so to type in fit when you type in your figure then you tap on this button then this apostrophe sign will show as fit sign then you type you tap enter button okay to have it pop up then enter again to escape or so that it will be functional then secondly to type in inches click and hold on shift then you tap this button and then the inverted man inverted comma will show up then if it doesn't show up you type in we tap enter okay and then enter again to escape so i hope that was helpful let's go back to our drum for those who are not really vase with feet and inches please note that 12 inches makes one feet and the 30 centimeters make 12 inches okay so in this case i'm going to draw the line diagram first then i'm going to offset the thickness of my walls and i've made it in such a way that at every line or at every partition i will reduce six inches and six inches is supposed to be the thickness of your wall so let's go to the line command then we're going to snap at this point then our first line here is at a distance of 22 feet we type in 22 and then we tap the button without pressing shift okay we tap the button of a comma then enter and then enter again it's gonna catch at this point okay so it's gonna catch at this point at 22 and then our next line we type in five feet five feet six inches then you catch here then we intersect here enter to escape then sorry enter and enter again to activate the line command then let's come here click here our next line measures 8 feet 6 inches it, it touches here and our next line measures 11 feet 6 inches touches here then we intersect here enter enter again to activate then our next line from here to here measures six feet six inches okay then the next line here measures seven feet four inches then the next line here measures eight feet then the next line here 
measures five feet seven and a quarter inch inches then we come to intersection here then from here we have an intersection here enter we enter again to activate then there is the next line from here measures 12 feet 12 feet 6 inches okay then the next line downward measures 10 feet then the next line measures 9 feet 4 and a half inches then the next line measures 4 feet 10 inches then downwards we're gonna have a line that measures 6 feet 8 inches then downward we're gonna have a line that measures 8 feet 1 inch then leftward we're gonna have this short line here that measure 4 feet 10 inches then again we're gonna have a line that measures 9 feet 4 and a half inches then this one measures 10 inches sorry 10 feet then 9 feet four and a half inches then at intersection here okay and that is all about the line diagram so we go now to offset left click and let go the left type in the offset this time the word thickness of six inches you press and hold the shift key and then you tap the then enter and enter again okay so let's start from here remember it's gonna be downward okay all horizontal downwards and all vertical rightwards just like that and uh, finally this one downward okay now the next thing now is to join lines like this and to trim partitions like this okay so what do we do I would like us to join these lines first in order to join this line please let's go to fillet click on fillet and make sure the fillet radius you come down to radius it's zero okay you type in zero enter okay then you come up here first and second automatically it joins like that then you go back to fillet you don't have to type in zero again you don't have to type in radius again just like that okay just click on fillet and come here type on this one then this one okay that is how you continue to do like that let's now go to the trim tool go to the trim tool enter then you trim trim all of these parts okay do trimming so i think that is all about our drawing in our next tutorial please we are going to fit in the doors and windows hatching installation dimensioning and 
all the rest please don't forget to subscribe thank you